Whether you win or lose, the fact that you got up on stage, that makes you a champion. Not many people, perhaps 1% of the population, would have the balls to push themselves that hard and to actually get up on stage. Coach Greg, and in today's video, Brandon Harding earns his IFBB Pro card. That's right, he won the overall and has finally achieved his dream of turning IFBB Pro. He competed last week and did not win, and it was a regional show qualifier. People had counted him out, said, you can't even win a regional show. What makes you think you can turn pro? But this was something he and his coach had planned. And so what they did was they planned to peak perfectly for the pro qualifier. The week before, that was just a test run. Let's just show up at 90% of our best and save our best for last. And that they did. Brandon lost an additional four pounds from the previous week and competed at his all time best. And standing six foot one, Brandon looks a lot bigger than his weight would indicate. He competed at only 202 pounds. And as an IFBB pro, he literally can gain 28 pounds of muscle and still make the weight class for classic physique. And so imagine Brandon with 28 pounds of additional muscle would certainly be a top Mr. Olympia competitor. My weight this morning was the lowest of prep. Crazy low. Mind-blowing how much the body can change in just a week between shows. And so after carving up after his last show, he was over 210 pounds. And so he dropped eight pounds in order to get dehydrated and properly show all the hard-earned muscle he put on since last year. And so the thing with bodybuilding is it's all about the illusion. Brandon is only 202 pounds yet looks like a monster. Reminds me a lot of Logan Franklin's physique, a top Mr. Olympia competitor. And Logan as well, a tall guy, very imposing, has an amazing physique. And just like Brandon, Logan can also add a ton of muscle and still make the weight class. And what I really noticed from last year, he's made dramatic improvements in the size and detail of his back. His back absolutely peeled. Tons of muscle, bumps, grooves, crevices, looks phenomenal. And it's not just his back, also the hamstrings, the quads, the legs, they are truly peeled. And so in watching Brandon pose in comparison to other guys, your eyes are immediately drawn to Brandon's detail, size, and symmetry. It is literally lights out from the rear. If it's close from the front, Brandon dominates this pose from the rear. And as I'm looking through his DMs, it quite literally says best back. And clearly to me, this this is obvious. And as you can see through video as he's posing, this is a phenomenal back, clearly nailed to size and conditioning for this back double bicep. And from the front, you can clearly see just how massive his quads are. This coupled with very wide shoulders allows him to demonstrate an X-frame. Brandon does not have a very small waist, but because he has such massive shoulders, it gives him the illusion of having a very tiny waist. And so from the size, his legs quite literally look wider than his waist. He has tree trunk size legs would clearly define calves and a very tight waistline. And you can see just how lean Brandon is sporting cross striding quads from the top of his knee up his lower leg. And so is Brandon stopping there? No, he's literally going to jump into his first IFBB Pro show in just three weeks time. And I think this is a fantastic idea. He's clearly at his best. He's put in the work. And so why not continue for three more weeks and set your sights on competing as an IFBB Pro? I was talking with Brandon earlier. He says he can't wait to compete in the show. And you can see just how emotional he is as he wins his IFBB Pro card. And he did not win this on his first prep. It took him a number of tries. And to me, that makes the win just that much sweeter. Some people, they turn pro on their first attempt. They compete their first year, IFBB Pro. And it seems to come too easy. But in this show, Brandon quite literally had to win first place in his category and overall to turn pro. And so he truly earned it, truly deserves his IPB Pro card. And what does he now have to do to place well as an IPB Pro? Well, the first thing I noticed, the first thing he needs to work on is his biceps. As he's doing many of the poses, the biceps, they're not held higher than his delt. As I went through his posing, I noticed when he had the one arm up above his head and the bicep higher than the delt, it looked massive. And if he can learn to pose with that bicep higher than the delt, it will immediately make his bicep look that much bigger. And aside from that, he simply needs more time. It takes time to build an IPB Pro physique, but he has time on his hands. He's only in his mid-20s, has lots of time to put on more size. 
And as he competes in his first pro show in three weeks, he can then compare himself to other IP pros and see how he stacks up. Will he win the show? Will he get 10th? Will he get last? We don't know, but that is besides the point. It's about having fun. As an amateur or first time competitor, you shouldn't be thinking about trying to turn pro. It's about having fun. And as you progress through the ranks, going to higher level shows, there's more pressure and you want to do well. But even then, it's still about having fun. If you don't enjoy it, how hard are you going to train? How hard are you going to push yourself? And in doing his first IFBB Pro show, he will be able to compare himself against the best of the best. He will learn so much from doing this show and he can carry that on to his off season. We will know exactly what he needs to do to show up and improve his placings. What will the judges say? What feedback will he receive? He can use this valuable information to help him prepare for next year. Brandon says, this is just the beginning. Winning your IPB Pro card, it's not the end. It's simply the beginning. It's another turning point in your career. And so the best athletes, they use that as motivation. They say, wow, I just turned pro. Now I want it that much more. I will train even harder. I will do everything it takes to be the best of the best. Others, they turn pro, they quit, they retire. Well, I want my card, I'm done. I don't like this anymore. I don't want to keep competing. But those who really love it, those who have the passion for it, it simply lights a fire, makes them want it that much more. And so following the show, what better way to celebrate than hanging out with your friends, eating some pizza and snacks and refueling after a long and hard prep. And so Brandon changed his name on Instagram, Brandon Harding, IFBB Pro, added to the title and quite literally wrote, got a pro card and had the best day of my life. And as I record this video shortly after getting home from the gym, already over 2,600 comments congratulating on its hard work. And so those of you who've never competed, you don't understand how hard it is, the work that you put into this. You're literally dieting, suffering for months, putting your heart and soul into preparing for a competition like this. And so to come out on top, especially after being so close the previous year, this has to feel amazing for Brandon Harding. And so for those of you who are thinking about competing, remember this, it is hard, but the reward of stepping on stage and seeing that you put in your all that you can accomplish anything, and it's not about winning. Brandon hasn't won all of his competitions. It's about putting in your best effort and seeing what you're made of. Whether you win or lose, the fact that you got up on stage, that makes you a champion. Not many people, perhaps 1% of the population would have the balls to push themselves that hard and to actually get up on stage. And if you truly enjoy it, the suffering, the work that you put into getting up on stage, it's all worth it. And you can then compete again and again, time after time. Personally, I've done 59 competitions for close to three decades. And so I know what it's like to suffer as Brandon did to win this card. I remember when I won my pro card, the excitement, the joy it brought, and I've been competing ever since. And so wishing Brandon the best of luck in his first ever IPB Pro Show in a few weeks time. Can't wait to see how he does. Ending it here. Looking for HCLT subs? Please use code GREG to get 10% off. Right now, go to my website, hcltsups.com or gregduset.com. Look for my supplements, cookbooks, training books, coaching plans by me and my team, the Circle Diet Book. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. Don't forget to watch at least one of them freaking bloops. Watch the bloop, support the channel, like the video if you liked it. And until next time, I am out.